It was February 6, 2017. The anniversary of the girl's friend Salem's death. Unfortunately, he had been murdered on the same day a year ago. Salem was a wonderful friend to the girl. But now he was gone. And so, today, on February 6th, 2017, she mourned the death of her once best friend. Off in the distance of the pitch black room the girl was sitting in, she could see something. The girl saw two blank white eyes staring at her. The girl recognized those eyes, those murderous, relentless, ruthless looking eyes. She had seen them before. She had seen them today, a year ago, when her friend had been killed. Those blank white eyes were the eyes of a killer. The girl stared into those eyes for a moment before realizing that she should run. She got to her feet and headed straight for the door. Quickly, she wrapped her hands around the golden knob of her front door and twisted it open being careful to remain silent as she did so. The girl ran outside her home into the white fog that covered everything. It was cold and the wind blew ever so slightly causing the girl's orange hair to go slightly in front of her shoulders rather than where it regularly sat upon her back. The girl took off running. Her loud footsteps thudded against the concrete. Around her was nothing but fog. She could not see ahead. She couldn't see anything. But the girl knew it was close. Without a doubt, it would find her soon enough. That thing, that murderous thing, always found its victims. It had claimed Salem's life, and now it was her time to join him. Suddenly, the girl stopped running. She reached her hand into the pocket of her dark gray jeans. Out she pulled an object wrapped in a small bit of cloth. Shakily, she unfolded the cloth to reveal a pocket knife. With the knife gripped tightly in her hand, the girl spun around to see a familiar face. Despite all the fog, the girl could see the figure quite clearly. It wore a white cloak that draped past its feet. Under the cloak, it wore mostly neutral colors, such as black, white, and gray. The figure slowly turned its head towards the girl. She stared into its blank, white eyes. The girl was overtaken by a sudden feeling of anger. That anger built up inside her as she bolted towards the killer. She raised her knife above her head, ready to stab it, but the figure just appeared before the girl could get to it, causing her to crash head first into a street pole. Everything was spinning, and the girl quickly realized that her forehead was bleeding. She grabbed the pole for balance as she tried to locate the figure. She spotted it a little ways off and ran shakily towards it. 
Being the fast runner that she was, soon enough, the girl was neck and neck with the thing. The girl felt no guilt. She felt no sadness. She felt no fear. The only thing that the girl felt was unrelenting anger and the cold, bony skin of the monster's wrists as she shoved the thing into the hard concrete. The girl raised her blade above the thing and held it there. You do not have the guts to kill me, the thing muttered. You are nothing more than any other human. You are just a whisper, a whisper in the wind. The girl's expression turned to a cold smile. Her eyes seemed to fill with rage and darkness as she replied coldly to the thing's last words. But have you forgotten, she said, how quickly a whisper can spread. The girl did not give the thing a chance to reply. Its blood spread quickly over the once clean floor. The girl's orange hair turned to a white and her pale skin to a gray as the knife slid into the thing's heart. She was left there with what she had done Thoughts and emotions consumed her as she let out a satisfied laugh. The girl reached her hand over to the thing. Her trembling fingers unhooked the hook and eye on the thing's cloak. Slowly, she pulled off the cloak to reveal a face that she recognized all too well. Salem! She screamed as a black, watercolored looking splotch appeared under her right eye. Slowly, her fear-stricken face turned to a cold smile once more. She draped the long cloak over her shoulders and hooked it closed. Her long white hair blew in the icy wind as she stood up and began to laugh. Suddenly, a police car pulled up around the corner the girl stopped laughing and turned towards it. The officer stepped out of his car. Hello, he said. Who's there? The girl ran behind the officer and uttered three words before sliding her knife into his back and watching him slip into death. I am Whisper. Suddenly, her vision turned red. Whisper let out a shrill, ear-piercing scream. She began to run faster than she ever had before up the street. Her neighbors began to stare at her in horror. One by one, she began to see a different face on all of them. The faces were monstrous and reminded her deeply of the thing. Thoughts swarmed her mind. One thing was clear, she was meant to kill these people. They were evil in her eyes, and surely they had hurt someone. She could see it in their murderous, monstrous faces, and for what they had done, they deserved to die. They deserved to die slowly, in their own unique, planned out way. She ran at the first neighbor with her knife in hand, whispered through her knife and watched as it turned into a gun. The girl pulled back the barrel and pulled the trigger. She watched as the first neighbor died to the chorus of her laughter. The neighbor's skull shattered and whisper moved on to the next neighbor. One by one, she killed off these monsters. Every time she threw her knife, it would change to the weapon she chose to end their life with. In her eyes, every human being was a monster. She was sure that they had hurt someone. And so they deserve to die with the last words they hear being, I am Whisper. Salem! She screamed as a black watercolored looking splotch appeared under her right eye. Slowly, her fear-stricken face turned to a cold smile 
once more. She draped the long cloak over her shoulders and hooked it close. Her long white hair blew in the icy wind as she stood up and began to laugh. Suddenly, a police car pulled up around the corner. The girl stopped laughing and turned towards it. The officer stepped out of his car. Hello? He said. Who's there? The girl ran behind the officer and uttered three words before sliding her knife into his back and watching him slip into death. I am Whisper. Suddenly, her vision turned red. Whisper let out a shrill, ear-piercing scream. She began to run faster than she ever had before up the street. Her neighbors began to stare at her in horror. One by one, she began to see a different face on all of them. The faces were monstrous and reminded her deeply of the thing. Thoughts swarmed her mind. One thing was clear. She was meant to kill these people. They were evil in her eyes, and surely they had hurt someone. She could see it in their murderous, monstrous faces, and for what they had done, they deserved to die. They deserved to die slowly, in their own unique, planned out way. She ran at the first neighbor with her knife in hand, Whisper threw her knife and watched as it turned into a gun. The girl pulled back the barrel and pulled the trigger. She watched as the first neighbor died to the chorus of her laughter. The neighbor's skull shattered and Whisper moved on to the next neighbor. One by one, she killed off these monsters. Every time she threw her knife, it would change to the weapon she chose to end their life with. In her eyes, every human being was a monster. She was sure that they had hurt someone. And so they deserve to die with the last words they hear being, I am whispered.